Let me take a rip at that one. A couple, couple bunkers, bunkers on that line. line. Let's see. Alright guys, welcome to my first video. Uh, today I wanted to take a quick look at Tiger Woods' new swing from the 2017 Hero World uh, Classic. Now, Tiger's coming off a big break. He had the back injury, he had the neck injury, he had a lot of stuff going on in his life, and he's coming back. And rumor has it, Tiger Woods was working on his swing like you wouldn't believe. Now that's just a rumor, but from the sources I have, is Tiger Woods took at least two years grinding with guys like Hank Haney and Sean Foley and other swing coaches. The names I'm drawing a blank on, but real deal PGA swing coaches. So I wanted to take a look at Tiger Woods' most recent swing from the 2017 Hero Award Classic. Now, the first thing I want to point out about his swing is his posture, his setup at approach before the swing even begins. I want you to take a look at a few key things. First, notice the degree and angle his back is at in accordance with his legs. This is a classic Tiger Woods setup. Not only does that say his back is feeling good, but it also says his technique is on par. And this is a great piece of advice for young golfers out there, for amateurs, for even advanced golfers. You want to take a look at professional golfers setup at approach before the swing even begins. Take a look at Tiger's back. He's not upright like he would be if he was standing here, and he's not too bent over where the club is upright and things are awkward. He has a nice, sturdy stance. His back is at, mm, I would say, a little bit more than a 45, maybe a 50 degree angle. And his legs have a slight bend in the knees. In the knee area, you notice most pros, if not all, have a slight knee bend. This allows the back to be comfortable at a 50 degree angle. Now, if you're watching this video, try to give it a quick pause and see how hard it is to have your back at a 45 degree angle with straight legs. Now, next time you're at the range, think about that and get a little knee flex going and have a little bend in the knees. Now, obviously, you don't want to be doing it like you have a jump shot or you're about to jump in the air. You just want a slight knee bend. Nothing too much, but it also needs to be there. So, let's make this video. I have it at half speed, this video, because I want to point out a few things as this swing goes on. Now, when I play this video, I want you to take notice of his hands when he takes away this club. Watch his hands. Notice there was no break in the wrist. Let's take a look at that one more time. And I want you to notice, and Tiger Woods, this is just some video I found. So I want you to take a look, notice at his hands. You will notice his hands do not break. By what break I mean is his wrists are not breaking. Now if you're unfamiliar with the term of breaking, is you will notice his hands and arms are remaining straight when he takes the club away. Many amateur golfers and even advanced golfers make a very common mistake of breaking their wrist when they take the club back. Not only does this break consistency on ball flight and contact, but you're losing an enormous amount of power. So I want you to take a look at his hands when he takes the club away. Now notice there was absolutely no break. Classic Tiger, classic professional golf swing takeaway. Now notice, here's another part I want you to take extreme notice. The club came back, he's using his shoulders as rotation with his hips turning. I want you to take a notice of those two things right there. His hips are turning and his shoulders are at a 90 degree if not more. Not only does that say Tiger Woods' back is healthy because an unhealthy hurting back could not turn like that on those hips, but it also says his swing is in professional form. Now what I want you to take from this is trying to apply this hip turn and this shoulder turn when you take the club back to your own game. Next time you go out on the range, I want you to think about your setup, and once you have that down with the slight knee bend and a good 45 to 50 degree bend at the waist, I want you to think about taking the club back without breaking your wrist and using your hips and shoulders to take the club back rather than your hands or wrists. Think about that. I want you to take your hips and turn them, which will enable your shoulders to turn as well. Now, Tiger Woods, even with his back injury, is going to be more flexible than probably 95% of us watching this video. So I don't expect you to get this angle that he has with his shoulders right away, or if at all. But you should be focusing on turning that shoulders like Tiger is here. Now let's take a look at his top position. 
That is Tiger Woods' top position. Now you see he's doing the normal Tiger Woods pull down where he's bringing his gravity, his body down towards the ball. That's very Tiger Woods of him. It also signifies his back is doing great. But more importantly, that is a great tip for any golfers watching this video who want to incorporate more power and gain more power into their swing, their driver, their irons, any club you want more power with. Think about this. This trick that Tiger does, this technique in this form is great for garnishing power, especially with the driver. Now you will notice as he goes up and up in the clubs, say from a driver all the way up to a pitching wedge, he does the aggressive pull down less and less, but it's still there. So if you're looking to get anywhere from 5 to 30 more yards with your driver, your wedges, your irons, and your long irons, this is a great technique you should try to learn and incorporate in your, in your swing. So when you bring that club back, Think about yourself pulling it down with your torso and your hips and notice his legs. Take notice of his legs here. The bend is still, the flex of his knees is a little bit more than it was at a dress. But take a notice of that knee right there. Now you will notice this in many top golfers in the PGA now. Dustin Johnson is one I can think of right off the bat who does a similar knee bend as Tiger is doing here. That will allow him to explode through the ball and come up after the swing. Now it's very important to remember not to pop up at contact because that's losing power. This will allow him to explode through the ball and then release the tension off his back after the swing. So let's play this video and watch that aggressive pull down. I want you to take notice of his hands right here. And one more quick thing I'll point out for you is the V. Tiger Woods calls this the magical V. Why does he call it the magical V? It's because that is what leads his swing to be good. That's what enables people to have good contact, aggressive swings with power. When you are practicing golf, a great tip I'll give you guys is to stop that swing at the top, at the top of the plane, and check if your V, as I have drawn here, is I want you to check if that V is there when you're out there practicing. If it's not, you can always try again and keep going until you get that V. Now we're gonna play. Now I'm gonna play this video for you guys, so you can see that pull down in action. Now that was quick, so I'm gonna slow the video down for you a bit, so you can just see the aggressiveness in this pull down and how he generates power. A classic Tiger Woods way of generating power. Now the swing is taken back, and here comes the pull down. There's the hand shooting towards the ball down towards the ground at an almost, if not, 90 degree angle. That's power, that's accuracy, and that takes work to do. So when you're trying to incorporate this pull down into your swing, don't think you're gonna get it overnight or in the first work. It's gonna take work for you to be able to pull down a club like that. But if you're able to get it, you're gonna, you're gonna see massive results, massive yardage gain, and it's gonna be something you're really gonna wanna incorporate in your game if you're looking for more power. And quite honestly, if you're just looking for more accuracy and a better swing is that pull down. Now we see Tiger Woods' hands here. It's still, he still has that magical V. Now, that's something very important. He keeps his hands tight next to his torso, even upon pulling down. You'll notice a lot of golfers will cast. They'll come out, instead of being right here, they'll come out either this way or this way, right? They'll come either too shallow, which is this, or they'll come cast over the top. Now you notice Tiger Woods stays in, inside of the ball, but not too shallow. You do not want to stay too shallow. But you also do not want to come over the ball, because that's what creates a slice. So, basically, what you can take away from this pull down is, if your natural shot is a draw, a push draw, you're coming too inside the ball, causing a push, and the ball with the side spin comes around and you end up over here. You don't want that. Now, if your natural shot is a fade or a slice even, it means you're casting, you're coming over the top of the ball as so, spinning the ball, so you're pulling it, but spinning it off to the side. But if we take a look at what Tiger is doing, he's coming right inside to meet the club with the ball evenly and on center to deliver a center shot. 
obviously we know which one is more consistent and which power you will gain from more. Because I can tell you right now if you're pull slicing or push drawing, you're losing yards, you're losing power, and you're losing consistency. It's one thing, if anything, to take away from this video is that pull down technique. You should come inside, but don't be shallow and don't cast. Okay, so now that we know about all that, check out how the V will remain at contact. Now, I've paused the video so you can see where the previous V was and where the new V is at. You can see the V is actually beginning to extend, but it's still present. So the old V was right here, and the new V is right here. The club is coming into center with the ball to give us a nice, accurate shot. Now I want you to take notice of something Tiger Woods and many pro golfers and advanced good golfers do. It's this back foot. Many golfers are afraid to allow this heel to come up. But if you're generating this much power, a Tiger Woods club head speed is anywhere from 118 miles an hour to upwards to 130 miles an hour, that back foot is going to come off naturally and you have to allow it to happen. And even so, so that's a tip for advanced golfers who can garnish that much speed. Not everyone can garnish 118 plus mile an hour club head speed with any club, let alone irons or the driver, right? But if you are, take this as a tip. Allow that back foot to come up naturally. Now, if you're not garnishing that much speed, your back foot still may come up. Now, there's two things you want to take from that. Is my back foot coming up because my body is allowing it to? Which would mean that you're that there is a swing flaw present. Possibly your hips are shooting outwards. Now you notice how Tiger Woods' hips are going towards the target, or if anything, going straight parallel with the target, right? So if your hips are shooting this way, this back foot will most likely shoot upwards because how, how could anybody maintain that much pressure from pulling off and not shoot up with it, right? So you wanna look at your swing. If you don't have a fast club head speed, you wanna take a look as, am I pulling my hip? Now, if you're not pulling your hip, there's another possibility. And that's, your foot just naturally comes off the ground. And if it does, don't worry about it. This is not a power loss. This is not a swing flaw. This is just a natural progression of a swing, especially if you have a fierce pull down like Tiger. So we're gonna highlight his, the V, and we're going to play the video. Now, I want you to know, notice something very critical about Tiger Woods' swing. That V is still present even at contact. The ball is now almost pretty much beginning to fly. And that V is still present. You'll notice that V will go here. And it will go here. And it will go here. And it will probably even go here. And it will just break off at the end. So let's play this video and see how right I am. There's the V still present, and as, as we said, it breaks at the top. So Tiger Woods' swing breaks at the top. Many people will hold that finish at the top, but it doesn't matter. The ball is already gone, so Tiger Woods is giving his back, his back a little break and taking the tension off, which is great. another great piece of advice if you have a sore back or a bad back or a little back injury you're coming from. Think about not holding that finish so much. Now, if you watch Gary Player, you'll notice... Gary Player does a very similar thing. Now, let's go to a Gary Player swing and see how it compares to Tiger Woods letting that finish go pretty quickly. All right, I brought Gary Player on the screen to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Gary Player is very well known for what's known as a walk-through golf swing. Now, why Gary Player does this? We don't know if it's for sure to go easy on his back, to take the tension off the back and the neck, or if it's just his playing style where he likes to walk through and watch the shot as he walks. Those are two possibilities. But whatever his specific reason is, there's something we can learn from Gary Player's walkthrough swing. Let's take a look. Contact. Immediately, the finish breaks, and he begins to walk. Like we said, there could be many reasons he does this. It could be personality. It's something that works for him. Or he could be taking tension off the bat. Now, if you played golf for more than a couple months consistently, you will know one thing that plagues golfer any golfers, is a back and back injuries. Back injuries are notorious for knocking golfers out of competitive play. As you can see, there's no stress on Gary Player's back. 
So we go back to Tiger Woods' video from the 2017 Hero War Classic, and you can see he's not quite walking through it as vigorously as Gary Player did. He's not walking through his shot. However, he is cutting that finish short. Now, we know Tiger Woods has a bad back. He's coming from a back injury, and he's probably tender. Even if he's not hurting, he's still tender in that region, and he wants to be careful with what he's doing. So he's going to shut down the finish quickly. If you hold the finish, the longer you hold it, the more torque on your back. So if you have a bad back or you're coming from a back injury, this is a great tip for you. All right, guys, that's about it from my side of the, the video, the analysis of what Tiger Woods. Enjoy these couple clips that Tiger Woods just playing great golf. You know, he came out there, he shot a low rounds. He had one bad day on the third day, and he finished strong on the fourth day. That's just absolutely awesome to see from a legend like Tiger Woods. It's just, I, I, I don't know one person in the golf world who wasn't rooting for Tiger at this 2017 Hero Award Classic. So those are some great takeaways you can cut, you can take back, take with you from Tiger Woods' appearance at the 2017 Hero Award Classic. Uh, we'll watch this swing here and you see he shuts that finish down. He's got a great pull down. Just take those tips when you watch Tiger. Every time you watch Tiger, let alone any professional golfer, you can learn something valuable. And if you're a Tiger fan, you can learn something great. I love watching Tiger. I love watching his swing. And you notice right there, he's got great form, good pull down. Shuts the, he shuts the finish down immediately to tenderize his back, to take the pressure off his back. And he's coming from that back injury, and we know he has a tender back. He might be feeling great. He said he's feeling great, but he's still careful. So if you have a back injury, that's a great little trick that we learned from Gary Player, from Tiger Woods, other guys in golf that we know that you might be able to incorporate in your game if you do have a bad back. I myself am coming from a little bit of a back injury, so that would be a good trip. I'm, a trick I'm looking to incorporate in my own swing is shutting that finish down. And let's be real, the finish is all about looks. The only reason you have a, you hold the finish and the nice finish is so you can pimp your shot, so you can show, show off how good of a shot that was. But what's more important than pimping a shot or looking good for the cameras or your friends or whatever is your back and your health if you want a serious career in golf or if you just want to play for fun consistently because there's nothing worse than a back injury, right guys? Anybody with a back or neck injury will tell you there's nothing worse. You'll be sidelined for months and all you will be doing is thinking about golf, 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 golf. So this is great chick. Watch a swing and yeah, he held that one for a little longer but he also, anybody that knows Tiger, he, he loves to hold those finishes, right? He probably, you know, he didn't like his shot, right? So he's, he's torquing on it a little bit. But that's a great little trick for easing off your back. Now, what I want you to take away from this video is a couple things. Address. Let's start with address first. Your back should be at a 45 to 50 degree angle, a little bit of a knee bend, right? When you take away the club, the, I want you to remember not to break the wrists. Think about swinging with your shoulders and allowing your hips to enable your shoulders to swing. If you're using your wrist or your hands to swing, not only are you losing power, but you're losing consistency. It's way easier to swing with your body, and you're going to have way more consistent results swinging with your body than you are swinging with your hands. Your hands are a couple inches long. Your body is huge. It's many feet long. If you use your body to swing a club, you will have better results, not only more consistent results, and you didn't like that, obviously, not only more consistent results, but more power in your swings and you will gain yardage. Think of your arms as a rope. This is a great Jack Nicholas trick. Your arms are a rope, so you want to keep those ropes attached to your body. Now, you're not, ropes cannot break, right? Ropes cannot flail. Ropes are stationary with, they're attached. So think of your arms as ropes attached to your body. You bring the club up and you bring the club down. Everything in between is about how you learn to swing and your personality. Tiger loves his strong pull downs. Many golfers like weaker pull downs. I know Phil Mickelson, Roy McIlroy, Jason Day, Jordan Spieth, some of the top drivers on the tour have very aggressive and strong pull downs. But you look at guys like Ben Hogan, for example, another strong pull down, but not as aggressive as those guys. So there's, and I can think of them right now as Adam. Basically, there's guys out there who have different swings, but the pull down is always present. So those, hopefully you guys learned some stuff about Tiger Woods' 2017 Hero Award Classic appearance. And hopefully you enjoyed my channel because this is the first video I'll be posting. And hopefully it's not complete trash. And let's move forward from here.